having worked with probably some of the largest financial institutions in the world, I mean, I really got to understand the business very well working with those institutions. But again, I also learned how to work with a client, how not to work with a client. You know, many of these brokers and many of the people in these big institutions are paid by how well the stock price is. And these are publicly traded companies. So the first thing they want to do is increase their stock price. And the best way to increase their stock price is to increase profitability. None of that has to do with increasing profitability for a client. It's just profitability for their own stock price. You know, my clients deserve so much more. I knew deep down that, that I had a better way to do this for my clients. What I've been able to build here since 2003. There's a very different way to manage money for clients, ways that you're not being taught at these big institutions. We have a total of five step process that we bring our clients through that helps them identify what's truly valuable to them and what's important to them that goes beyond stocks and bonds. So it might be that they have a charity that they want to donate to. It might be they want to make sure their kids not only get through college, but they get through medical school. They might have all these other things that they want to take care of. So over, over time, I've been fortunate enough to build an extended team of experts, state planning attorneys, special needs attorneys, CPAs, people that do business valuations, so that I can look at this advanced planning to really help my clients meet all of their goals. Because again, managing stocks and bonds is one piece of being a wealth manager. To have one cohesive approach to providing a world-class solution to our clients. We truly act as their chief financial officer for a client. It's looking at the whole, um, so, so being able to do that advanced planning with them and help them prioritize what that advanced planning should look like and how we're going to accomplish it is very important to them. When people walk around our office, the first thing they see, because we're all glass, we're all open, our clients say, it's so obvious you guys want to be transparent. And I'm so happy to hear that because yes, we want to be transparent. We want our clients to know exactly everything that's going on in their portfolio, the costs, why we do what we do, how we do it, that there's no conflicted advice, we're only working in their best interest. So transparency to us is so vitally important. It's a very difficult decision for a client to find a money manager. So I never want a client to feel that they have to find another money manager or another wealth manager. Charlie. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. I grew up in a family with both my father and grandfather in the same house. And just kind of reflecting on my own father and grandfather's life. And the only thing I knew growing up is they both owned their own business and they were both committed and passionate. And they were so respected in community, they loved what they did so much. And you could see it every day in their eyes how much they loved that. Every single one of my clients, I really feel is an extended part of, is an extended part of my family. Recognizing them for a big event like a grandchild, granddaughter, birthday, anniversary, or just picking up the phone and saying, hi, how you doing? I, I never want my clients to be surprised about something we're doing. And I never want to be surprised about something in their life that I should be attuned to that would impact their financial plan. Every single client that comes through my doors has, has someone that they care so deeply about that they'll do anything to take care of them. And for some of my clients, you know, it's themselves. And that's a tremendous responsibility that we take on here. Um, and it's one we will never, ever take lightly.